Well, on Friday, it's always time for the Night Sky Guy. Andrew, how are you today? Hi, Gary. Doing well. Very good. Well, I'm really looking forward to tonight. And I said a little bit earlier on, the crazies will come out tonight. Werewolves <laughs> will be out tonight. It's the biggest moon of all year, isn't it? Yeah, this is a very, very special event because um, it's something that everyone can see. You don't need telescope or binoculars. And even if it's really super cold where you are, you can just see it out your window. It's really, really nice. It's the biggest full moon of the year. And uh, in fact, this is not an illusion. The moon is 14% bigger and 30% brighter than, uh, than uh, any other moon of the year. And what makes it extra special is that the moon is the closest it's been in 15 years. Now here you can see a picture of two moons side by side. One's called Apogee, that's when the moon is the farthest away from, the, uh, from Earth, and then Perigee is when it's closest. And it's, there's a 50,000 kilometer difference between the two, and we're at Perigee now, and uh, the moon is gonna cast very strong shadows, and with all the snow on the ground, you're gonna see even, uh, it's gonna appear very bright tonight. So basically look towards the eastern horizon at sunset, that's when the full moon will rise over the eastern horizon, and then you can watch the moon ride on the overhead skies all night long and it will be really spectacular. It does. It sounds like an incredible event so I can't wait to see it. Uh, also, I wanted to ask you about the meteor shower. What's going on with that? Well, we have one of the best meteor showers of the year. It's called the Geminids. It's peaking Saturday night into Sunday morning, but because the moon is going to be up on, at night, it's going to wash out most of the meteors, because usually you'd see 120 meteors per hour. That's going to be cut down to 30 to 40 meteors per hour, but that's still a very, very good show. All you have to look at is after 10 o'clock on Saturday night, look towards the eastern horizon, and then well into the overnight, you can look up straight overhead and you'll see 30 to 40 shooting stars per hour on that night if you have clear skies. Now, I have to admit I did get this one wrong. I did do the quiz earlier. Give everyone the quiz, Andrew. <laughs> well, we were talking about the moon before. This week, uh, this is what I have for the quiz. Flying once around the moon is the equivalent of a round trip from A, New York to London, B, New York to Mumbai, or how about C, Hong Kong to New York? All right, we'll have the answer in just a couple of moments. Uh, news, new information with the Hubble telescope. That's right. The Hubble Space Telescope has discovered carbon dioxide in an atmosphere of a planet orbiting another star 63 light years away. The astronomers are saying that this is a very important step along the trail of finding chemical biotracers, sort of fingerprints of possible extraterrestrial life on other planets. Hmm. Now this planet is Jupiter size, it's very close to its star. So we think it's too hot for life, but the idea of finding carbon dioxide is very exciting because it's a byproduct of life. So this is another way of detecting other Earth-like planets. Well, that's obviously very exciting news. All right, let's, uh, let's tell everyone the answer to the quiz. That's right. Let's give everyone the question one more time, <laughs> just in case they're tuning in, because I don't know, I, I thought it would actually be a little bit longer than this, quite frankly. That's right. W once around the moon is the equivalent of a round trip from A, New York yeah, to London. I see. And I guess to Mumbai. <laughs> I really, I did. I thought it was a little bit longer, but hey, that's a six, seven hour trip. That's nothing. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, there you go. You see, you can see the whole moon. <laughs> exactly. All right. So everyone's got to look up into the sky tonight. The moon is at its biggest peak e e point for the entire year this evening. Also, the Geminid meteor shower. That's right, this Saturday night into Sunday morning. Now tell everyone how they can get more information and what exactly is on your website, Andrew? Well, I've got all the information about sky, with sky watching charts on my website. It's thenightskyguide.com. And there's a lot of terrific information there. I thank you so much, Andrew, for taking time to join us, as you usually do every Friday. Thanks so much. Clear skies. Thanks.